Hey, hey, hey. I'm so excited. Just pulled the last of the honey frames off from the original hive, which is now a honey flowers hive if she, she makes it. We still don't know yet if we're going to get any queens off from honey flower, honeycomb, and honey cloud. So we're still waiting on that. That takes time. So um, I am about to show you one round through of extracting honey. I've got five frames that I'm going to get to extract. Four of them are not. Let me show you. So four of them are not capped, have some nectar in them, some comb. You can't really even see it. Let's see if I can do another one. Let's I have a little bit of capped honey, but it's mostly just nectar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first do my five frames of honey, which are frames that look like this gorgeousness. I'm going to extract these, get all that taken care of, and then I'm going to take that nectar out so that I can have those combs cleaned out. And I'm gonna give that back to the bees. So just getting started here. It's as simple as this. I got my little, let's see here, my bucket here. Of course, I've got a lot of, lot propolis on this. So let's get that out of the way. And you know what? I'm gonna stick this in here that I'm going to glove up. So, it's gonna stand up there. I need to glove up, I get my gloves right here. So, I have gloves on, because this gets to be a sticky, sticky, sticky mess. Oh. Let's get this going. I'm so excited. So this is all the honey that I'm gonna get for this year. And this is it. It's not gonna be a whole lot. That's okay. I didn't expect to get any honey, so I'm thrilled that they were able to get me any. All the rest is just going to be working on getting them built up so that they can survive winter. So we got our uncapping knife here. Let's get this so you guys can see it a little bit better. See if I can get better at this. I'm not the best at this uncapping business, y'all. I'm doing the wrong way. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna turn this around since I started this one. You guys aren't gonna get to see the cutting part. Doesn't, well, ooh, ooh, ooh. I know what I can do. First off, I gotta put this here. Y'all, see, this is still so new to me. Beginner's mistakes, right? I can do this. So you guys can see me do it. I can fix this, right? So we're just going to cut that capping off. Not the best at this yet. Nope, I'm cutting down too far in. Maybe if I come around, I'm still learning y'all. Definitely a learning curve. Gotta figure out what works best for me too. See, I just totally missed all that. Knock the cappings in. It's an icky sticky mess. I got the floor covered in old ads, like newspaper ads. going to have to go watch more videos and learn the technique for doing this. 
Oh gosh, this smells so good. The great thing is nothing is wasted. If it's not something that I can get and keep, it goes back to the bees. amazing y'all wish you could smell this so in the end this frame is gonna go back to the bees for just a little while and they're gonna clean it up for me get the honey fix the comb up and then I get to pull it again while it doesn't have anything. And uh, put it away for the season. That way I've got comb ready to just give them come spring flow. Messy, messy, messy. One done, side two to go. Probably gonna step around. The reason I'm stepping around is I'm approaching it from the bottom bar, not the top bar. I'll get a technique down. This is going nice. And all this wax, I'll get to clean up and uh, these cappings. And I'll use it for re-waxing frames. When I get new frames, I add wax to them. Because they may say they're pre-waxed, but they don't. I swear, it's like they just sneezed wax on them and... Uh, and you wonder if the people who wax them even know anything about bees or if they're just doing a job because I don't have luck getting them to draw comb out on any of these supposed pre-waxed frames unless I add more wax to them and there is the first frame done what I'm going to do now I'm going to pull it, and before I move this dripping mess, I'm going to open up my extractor here. This is a two-frame extractor. I didn't get to really show this much last time because my phone did funky. I'm just going to take it, set that frame in there. I'm going to turn it around here so it's ready for the next one. If it'll stay. It's going to turn back. That's okay. So next frame. Eek. Eek. So last time when I got to do any extracting, it was the very first time I ever got to do any extracting, which you can find on this YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe and watch all my bee antics as I'm learning and working bees. Cap in here. 
But um, follow, subscribe, see all my learner rookie mistakes. Uh, share, share, share. Let other people know. And hopefully come spring and into summer we'll get enough bees going to have sellable honey. I also have a really great program. It's my Adopt a Hive, Adopt Bees. And if you follow me on Facebook too, just my personal wall, I talk about that a lot. Alrighty. Getting capped. Gorgeous dripping honey. I want to try something here. Let's see here. That turns it so that. Ooh, but I could use my brain here. This puts the bottom of the frame at me and I don't have to walk back and forth. Work smarter, not harder, right? I try to. Doesn't always work out, but I try to. This is coming nice. So what'll happen is I'll put this in my extractor here and spin the honey out. And the type of extractor I have, I'm horrible with the names, you have to flip the frames because the frame, the centrifugal motion doesn't pull it out, it pulls it back into the cells. So you have to spin it one way, flip the frames, and spin it again. And it's a two frame. So here we go. Nice and gorgeous in here. Close it up. This is the one thing I hate is the stickiness. So I go through a ton of gloves so I don't get sticky all over everything. So, trash. Let's see if I can do this because it likes to rock. Oh, did I open? Nope, I didn't. Gotta open the honey gate. Honey gate, it's sitting over top of before I start spinning this too much. Let's show you. Hmm. Sitting over top of a honey bucket, and it's gonna drain through this. It's got a wider mesh and a really fine mesh to catch all the pieces so that it's just the honey going in. No comb, no possible bee parts, because unfortunately that is part of part of it all. I've got to get a weight system to help hold this. Oh my gosh, watching that honey. Now it's probably going to take a couple frames before anything actually blows out. This isn't going to be a lot of honey because these are mediums and not uh, deep. it out here in the warmth so that uh, the honey flows better. We're in an enclosed garage so the bees aren't in here trying to take the honey back. Just gonna go in here and we're gonna take the frame because if you look that's now all empty now this and it's okay it doesn't do anything this is darker here because they had some brood one 
one round in it. Because the queen, when I was working on getting, getting them to actually use the honey super, she did end up laying one time. Which doesn't do anything. That happens all the time. touch with this one hand and it seems like I'm going to anyways same thing with this thing so you see the honey is not off from this side but it is from the outside here so now we're just going to turn it and drop it back down in Close it up and spin it. Now we'll have to do probably two more frames before any of the honey will be up high enough to come out. And then I also will take a spatula and scrape all the honey down off the sides. Try to get as much out of this as I can. Next two will get it enough that it'll flow out on its own. Mm -hmm. right. Extracted honey. Extracted honey. The bees will get these back and clean them up. I'll give it back to them tonight because I don't want to initiate robbing. And all, oh, I'm already having enough trouble. So there we go. Let me set this back down and come shut it off. And I will show later how much honey I get off from it. Thanks, y'all. Remember to subscribe, Smoky Mountain Lash Bees.